What is up, guys? Bad space up here. Sorry, I wanted to make sure I had everything set up. So, what is up, guys? Uh, I know this is going to be a little bit of a late show, uh, shout out thing, but I wanted to say happy late Halloween, guys. And I uh, wanted to do a little bit of an update with what's going on in that. Uh, my Spooktober Fest uh, entry, the Nightbringer, is going to be a little on the late side, uh, mostly because I kind of bit of my own stupidity and all, getting a little too hyped up for some of the stuff I got. Oh, my nose keeps on itching. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, I wanted to get him done earlier, but unfortunately, the glue, I did not get around to getting the glue. I kept on forgetting it. I even had a list. I went off the list and that, and, I, and the time I went to go and get the magnets and the stuff for the ghost arc, and uh, for some other pro uh, later on projects and that I was running late I was actually about I was actually getting kind of shoot out of my hobby store to get out because they were just starting to close so I was kind of a bit of in a rush and I have not been able to get back since eh. <laughs> so I gotta still get the glue in that which hopefully I can get it this weekend Cross your fingers, guys. I hope I can because I really want to get this model done and that. Let's also showcase him off because he looks so he looks so amazing. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, uh, you're only going to probably see a little bit of him. This is all I got up to. Uh, getting his base done. Let me show you off a little bit. I got that much done. Uh, his legs. And I also I got a scythe glued on too, which I'll show that off too. But uh, his arms, I cannot get to stay on uh, when I'm gluing it because the glue I have, it takes uh, I think uh, 10 to 20 minutes to cure, 10 or 10 to 15 I think something like that. It takes a really long time for it to cure, and my hands were starting to get really cramped and all that stuff, and I couldn't hold on to it. So I'm saying screw it, and also it'd be a great idea to have that glue again, especially when I start getting more into and to gluing any more resin, gluing any more resin or any other projects that require that. Oh, excuse me, I don't know why I keep on burping. Oh my goodness. So, anyways, uh, other than that, I wanted to do a couple thing. Uh, actually, a thank you for uh, the trainholic. Uh, not trainholic. Sorry, sorry, train tutor. Uh, um, there's just too many terrain, there's too many terrain, uh, YouTubers with the name terrain in them that I'm subscribed to, and I just I don't know why it just Forgive me, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I watched uh, one of his uh, uh, chilling hangouts. Uh, if you don't know who uh, the Terrain Tutor is, he's an awesome uh, guy. He's an awesome dude who uh, has tutorials on how to uh, make your own custom terrain. And I was uh, I was watching his uh, sitting uh, his chilling hang in that, and he. I, uh, long story short, was he actually uh, did. Uh, Gave me an awesome review and I actually had a couple. I had a couple guys from his thing uh, subscribe to me in that. Uh, to those guys, welcome. I can't remember your names. I apologize. That's. I've got a lot going on here uh, <laughs> around here right now, so I forgive me for your. I forget, but uh, thank you. And uh, again, the comments will never stop coming. Viva la comments. <laughs> it, it's a little bit of a joke that. Uh, from that, if you want to see that, go and check out his uh, video on that. It was freaking hilarious. Uh, watching the chat, you're gonna have to probably watch for a while. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, also I uh, wanted to say uh, thank you to uh, both Itic and uh, Family War Gamers for uh, their night, uh, their comments on the night site and that. And uh, thank you, Itic, uh, for your video on that. Uh, let me know about your uh, magnetizing uh, of uh, the night slash doom scythe. I uh, even though I still have it in my uh, folder in that again. Thank you. Um, that's definitely going to come in handy because uh, I'm now getting to the part of uh, I got it pretty much all glued. Uh, all it's actually all assembled. Just only getting down to the part of uh, doing the death ray and the teleporter. A uh, little mini wormhole that goes on the bottom for the night side. So thank you and uh, thank you uh, to uh, Family War uh, War Gamers for uh, 
uh, talking about the uh, having uh, your opinion on the Night Scythe and that. I'm, like I said, I'm going to definitely have both. Uh, I'm actually trying to get more into magnetizing with my army in that. Uh, in the beginning, I was too, um, I was kind of scared of it, but uh, I had some uh, leaps and bounds that I kind of did with uh, some of the stuff I'm working on now. I'm a little bit more comfortable in it, and also watching uh, different people's tutorials, especially I follow Idix stuff, especially for uh, uh, being a Necron player in that. Nothing against any others, but it's just usually... Uh, I came across his videos first, and that's how it kind of pretty much went. So I've been I it's I've gotten more comfortable and actually really getting trying to get the guts to do it more, and I uh, it's gonna be fun. So, uh, but I can't think of any other thank yous right now. I wanted to say I'm sorry, I just have a lot going on. I know I say that, and I. I've been saying that a lot, but it's true. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm in the process of, uh, actually my family's in the process of trying to get a house. I'm actually, the house I'm living in now is a rental, and uh, we want to live, we actually want to own a house again in that, because uh, around the time that the economy in the U.S. took a shit, uh, back in 09 and that, uh, family lost the house, and uh, found this place, and we've been living here ever since then. And uh, we want, we uh, actually for the past uh, two years now, we've been uh, we found one house that was actually close to my ex, and that uh, but the family did not want to uh, the couple did not want to wait for us anymore because we were trying to get some stuff on our end kind of cleaned up, and then found this place and uh, we're actually now close to getting to the sales table, meaning. Uh, just only final document, uh, signing documents, uh, handing over keys, uh, every all that kind of good stuff. So then I'll be moving, and I'm, it's going to be a little hectic after that because just with all uh, trying to get everything unboxed again, uh, all my gear unboxed and uh, set up again. This is going to be a little on the crazy side, but don't worry. Let's try to get to it, especially since uh, it's going to be really exciting. Because also I'm going to be starting a new job. Uh, I didn't talk to you guys about this. I know it's this is going to be a little bit of a long update, guys. I, did, I should have said that in the beginning, but this is going to be a little bit of a up, big update because knowing me. But anyways, uh, with my last job, uh, I got laid off actually in the ending of uh, September. I didn't want to talk about it much just because, uh, just in case, uh, they were actually talking about probably uh, rehiring uh, in October middle of October. Uh, I came to find out uh, last week uh, through the temp service I'm hired through, they're not looking at probably hiring back again. They actually dropped. Uh, they actually b almost bottomed out on uh, uh, orders in that, so they're not really looking to probably hire in the next year or so. They don't know. They have no idea. So. I got told about uh, this one job that's actually a lot closer to me, like only uh, would be a five to ten minute drive for me to get to, and that I'd pretty much be, I wouldn't be welding, I'd be pretty much uh, a grunt doing whatever they wanted to do, shovel out driveway, uh, shoveling the, uh, not driveway, but shoveling uh, off paths, uh, mowing lawn, pretty much like a, gr like a janitor slash groundskeeper kind of thing, which... I'm okay with it's all uh, all first shift only, and uh, yeah, it pays very well. Be pretty nice. So if I start doing that, I'll try. Uh, I'll be able to stay in a constant thing, especially next semester. That's that's when it's going to get really crazy. Is I start college again, and I'm doing my final welding class, and I'm going to be starting my academics, which is going to be fun. Oof, I'm not looking forward to it, <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's just I'm only bitching about it now, but I'll be fine. But anyways, anywho, uh, I'll try to keep you guys in the. I'll try to do some uh, vlogs while uh, on the down low while I'm trying to get everything set back up, like uh, all my model stuff pulled out and that. But mostly I'm uh, this big. Uh, the big thing right now. That is on my uh, paint table is, of course, all the Necron stuff I got, especially 
I'm going to be doing tournament. I'm going to be doing a tournament, and uh, in November, hopefully, I can. Uh, I got to find out if I get hired in this place, what my uh, work schedule will be, and then try to go from there. But uh, it is uh, November the 16th, and uh, it's going to be at my local hobby store. In that, I'm going to. It's. I got to double check what the actual final points are going to be in that. But it's going to be an all foot based Necron army. Uh, I'm actually going to be looking uh, to you, in it, of course, uh, on any ideas, or if you, any of you guys have any ideas, I'll actually, uh, when I'm moving that, I'm actually going to have, uh, one of the thing, first things I'm going to have out after we get moved in and that, all the tables and all that set back up and that, I'm going to try to do a showcase of my dynasty, uh, uh, my 3,000 point dynasty, because especially since well it's been now over a year since I started collecting Akrons and I wanted to show off from where I started out with just lowly George or Il Luminaris Ceres to what I have now which is, it's a big feat guys now thinking about it because looking at with how, how far it came from my wolves and that with the points I have for my wolves which is over 2500 points it took me over three years but also that was through birthdays that kind of stuff also rewards for uh, my academic achievements that kind of stuff but a lot of this I kind of uh, the eBay army I actually got for my achievements through uh, getting honors I uh, actually well technically honors slash or as it's called in college Dean's List making that and also this big bulk I actually just bought as a treat for myself just to keep myself tied over after work something to work on oh my goodness I cannot start burping but yeah hopefully I can get that army play tested uh, I'm gonna try I got a couple lists figured out that I want to do and try them out for tournament and that just to try to uh, see what I can do with it I mean, I'm not wanting to win, but I'd be kind of nice to be able to say I got really far with my Necrons. Uh, the reason why I'm using a Necrons is because I do not have the new uh, Space Wolves Codex yet. I want to get the new Codex, but also with my Wolves in that, uh, I know they're, I'm still going to be able to run some of my old tactics in that, but I want to just sit and regroup and think with them, because with my Wolves, I want to be a little bit more thinky, uh, tactical. Uh maneuverable I know a lot, uh, there's firepower like the we got tremendous firepower in that I don't want it I do want to do that but don't want to at the same time I want to kind of be a con uh, I want to be well rounded and my crons well be all out firepower be able to just pound the living hell out of them kind of attitude so, so it's gonna be fun but anyways uh I'll talk about more on the tor uh, tourney list when it gets closer, and that I uh, will definitely have the rest of the Necrons uh, finished up pretty much in bulk, and that the only thing that's going to be left uh, to be uh, painting slash uh, building, building, not building, building is my Doomsday slash Ghost Ark. Uh, which, again, I'm going to have a separate video on talking on that. So that's that's pretty much it. What's going on right now? I got some other stuff that's going to be coming up. Uh, one last unboxing. I'm only talking about that right now, just that way you guys have a little bit of an idea what's going on. Because, like I said, it's going to get really crazy soon, uh, from what we're thinking. And if it does, who Nelly? I'm going to be trying to keep up. I'm trying to get videos cataloged now. That way I can just go one, uh, just go up and just post them. So. It's, like I said, I apologize if it gets really crazy in that, if you don't hear from me for a while in that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get crazy. I, I enjoy it, but also I'm not enjoying it. I don't know. I'm, I'm all over the place. Uh, sorry. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be trying to just try to keep up on stuff in that. I'm just apologizing right now, and I know can't help it. Life gets in the way. But still, I feel really bad when I go for a while not being able to post stuff and that I feel really sad but uh, I'll be trying to get this stuff done 
I try to get some videos. I actually do got some videos post uh, that I'm gonna post up in the next week. So yeah. So there you guys have it. I'm gonna leave it off here because this is getting to over 15 minutes long. I know my updates are always long. I can't help it. It's just I got so much to talk about. I want to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna leave it off here. Yeah. Nope. Leave it off here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment, like, and sub. This fast space for fear. Peace.